Boy, media tech thought for a minute they had gone clear with the Dimensity 9200 with all the new features and improvements it's bringing ready for 2023. But then, of course, Qualcomm were not going to sit on the sideline and let MediaTek have all the fun because the now official Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is looking to gatecrash the party and start off the smartphone chipset wars ready for 2023. Yep, we've got to do a quick overview comparison of what both the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 are bringing to the table for the flagship devices for 2023 and what that might give us an idea on a surface level of which one might be the overall better chipset. Now, the Dimensity 9200 is based on an 8-core design with a 134 configuration using one prime Cortex-X3 core at 3.05 GHz and three performance Cortex-A715 cores at 2.85 GHz, supporting 64-bit operations only and four efficiency cores revised a510 cores at 1.8 gigahertz. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, on the other hand, takes a different approach with its core configuration using a 143 formation, which is based on an 8 core design and using one prime Cortex X3 core at 3.2 gigahertz and four performance cores that are split into two banks using a Cortex A715 cores for 64 bit operations and the other two banks using the A710 cores for legacy 32 bit operations and all four cores at clock at 2.8 gigahertz and for efficiency cores that are revised a510 cores at 2.0 gigahertz this basically means Qualcomm have switched things up as they are now using a 143 formation for the HN2 compared to the 134 formation for the HN1 in fact it's actually more like a 1223 configuration which is really interesting to see how that will benefit the overall multi-core performance for the HN2 as we now technically have an extra performance core than before both chipsets are using a 4 nanometer fabrication process from TSMC and this should be on their second generation 4 nanometer process for better efficiency. MediaTek are claiming up to 12% faster CPU performance with 25% less power draw and 32% faster GPU performance with 41% less power draw. Now speaking of the GPU, the Immortalis G715 powering the graphics performance with features like hardware-based ray tracing and also VRS. So if you're a gamer, things are looking really nice with the optimizations that MediaTek have with the Hyper Engine 6.0. And again, mind you, this is all compared to their previous chipset, the Dimensity 9000. Qualcomm, though, are stating up to 35% better CPU performance with up to 40% better efficiency when it comes to power draw. Now, the Adreno 740 GPU is set to have 25% faster performance with up to 25% better efficiency gains when it comes to power draw and offering features like hardware-based ray tracing as well and VRS and also Vulkan 1.3 support as well. Heck, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 officially actually supports Unreal Engine 5, which might give it an edge in future mobile games that have better support when it comes to current and next-gen graphics. Again, this is against the previous 8 Gen 1 and not the 8 Plus Gen 1. Both are bringing serious performance and efficiency gains, but it does look like at least on the clock speed side of things, the 8 Gen 1 is looking to top the 9200 from MediaTek. But then again, MediaTek going all in on 64-bit operations and support for their four performance cores, which do have slightly higher clocks at 2.85 GHz might give it a unique advantage while Qualcomm is looking to strike the balance between compatibility as well as performance. Both chipsets do support LPDDR5X RAM with speeds up to 1400 MHz and also support for UFS 4.0 storage, which is a first on both. Now on the connectivity side of things, both have support for the latest Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3, enabling speeds beyond Wi-Fi 6 and 6E with better range and performance. Although AI is harder to showcase and quantify, it is basically Qualcomm's hexagon processor versus MediaTek's APU 690 battling it out to showcase the improvements, managing and calculating AI operations across their respective SoC, from things like faster and smarter scene recognition when using a camera and overall better communication across the whole SoC. As someone who is all about having the best camera experience, the improvements to the ISP is what I'm most excited about as we do have Qualcomm Spectra ISP versus MediaTek's Image 890 
ready to challenge and improve on the smartphone camera experience. MediaTek is focusing on bringing features like better 8K video recording with no crop at 30 frames a second with improved stabilization using EIS, while Qualcomm wants to eliminate any form of shutter lag with support for 108 megapixel capture at 30 frames a second with zero shutter lag. Whichever way it goes, I'm eager to see how the camera performance will be on both chipsets. There is not much else to really extract from what we know so far, but a real question is how many flagship devices will be using the Dimensity 9200 compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 because Qualcomm does have a very tight grip on the SoC market for Android phones and when you consider the upcoming Galaxy S23 might finally be using Snapdragon in all regions across the globe with no Exynos in sight, it looks like MediaTek have their work cut out for sure. Either way, I'm ready for any surprises, twists, turns when it comes to the competition being this good and for sure it's looking like a good one for 2023. <laughs> Thank you.